Welcome back. Prompt. Tips for saving money on groceries answer. Sure. Here are some friendly tips for saving money on groceries. 1. Plan your meals. Create a weekly meal plan to avoid impulse buys and ensure you only purchase what you need. 2. Make a shopping list. Stick to a list to help you avoid unnecessary purchases and keep your spending in check. 3. Use coupons and discounts. Look for coupons in newspapers, apps, or store websites. Many stores also have loyalty programs that offer discounts. 4. Buy in bulk. Purchase non-perishable items in bulk to save. Money in the long run. Just make sure you'll use them before they expire. 5. Choose store brands. Generic or store brand products are often cheaper and can be just as good as name brands. 6. Shop seasonal produce. Fruits and vegetables that are in season are usually cheaper and fresher. 7. Avoid shopping when hungry. Shopping on an empty stomach can lead to impulse buys. Have a snack before you go. 8. Limit processed foods. Prepackaged and processed foods can be more expensive. Cooking from scratch can save you money and be healthier. 9. Check for sales. Keep an eye on weekly sales and plan your meals around those items. 10. Use leftovers wisely. Get creative with leftovers to minimize waste and stretch your meals further. Happy shopping. Prompt. Steps to create a budget that works answer. Creating a budget that works for you involves several key steps. Here's a structured approach to help you get started. 1. Set clear goals, short-term goals, save for a vacation, pay off credit card debt, etc. Long-term goals, save for retirement, a house, or your child's education. 2. Gather financial information, income sources. List all sources of income, salary, side jobs, investments. Expenses. Track all monthly expenses, including fixed, rent, utilities, and variable, groceries, entertainment. 3. Categorize your expenses, essential expenses, rent, utilities, groceries, insurance, non-essential expenses, dining out, hobbies, subscriptions. 4. Choose a budgeting method, zero-based budget. Every dollar is allocated to a specific category, leaving no money unassigned. 50 slash 30 slash 20 rule, allocate 50, envelope system. Use cash for different spending categories to control spending. 5. Create your budget. Use a spreadsheet, budgeting app, or pen and paper to outline your income and expenses. Ensure your total expenses do not exceed your total income. 6. Monitor and adjust, track spending. Regularly check your spending against your budget. Adjust as needed. If you overspend in one category, adjust other categories to compensate. 7. Review regularly. Set a monthly review date to assess your budget's effectiveness. Make adjustments based on changes in income, expenses, or financial goals. 8. Stay accountable. Share your budget with a trusted friend or family member. Consider joining a budgeting group or online community for support. 9. Celebrate milestones. Recognize and celebrate when you hit savings goals or pay off debts to stay motivated. 10. Educate yourself, read books, take courses, or follow financial blogs to improve your budgeting skills and financial literacy. By following these steps, you can create a budget that not only helps you manage your finances effectively, but also aligns with your personal goals and lifestyle. Prompt. How to set financial goals effectively answer. Setting financial goals effectively involves a few key steps. 1. Define your goals. Start by identifying what you want to achieve financially. This could include saving for a house, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund. 2. Make them smart. Ensure your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, instead of saying, I want to save money, specify, I want to save $5,000 for a vacation in 12 months. 3. Break it down. Divide larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. This makes them less overwhelming and allows you to track your progress more easily. 4. Create a budget. Develop a budget that aligns with your goals. Allocate funds towards your savings or debt repayment each month. 5. Monitor your progress. Regularly review your goals and adjust your plan as needed. Celebrate small milestones to stay motivated. 6. Stay flexible. 
life can be unpredictable, so be prepared to adapt your goals as circumstances change. By following these steps, you can set financial goals that are not only effective but also achievable. Prompt. Understanding your credit score answer. Prompt. Beginner's guide to investing answer. Prompt. How to manage student loan debt answer. Managing student loan debt can feel overwhelming. But there are effective strategies to help you stay on top of your payments and reduce stress. Here are some steps to consider. 1. Understand your loans. Know the types. Identify whether your loans are federal or private as they have different repayment options and terms. Review terms. Understand interest rates, repayment terms, and any grace periods. 2. Create a budget. Track income and expenses. Develop a monthly budget to see where your money goes. Prioritize payments. Allocate funds for your student loans and essential living expenses. 3. Explore repayment plans. Federal options. Look into income-driven repayment plans, IDR, that adjust your monthly payments based on your income. Loan consolidation. Consider consolidating federal loans for potentially lower monthly payments. Refinancing. For private loans, refinancing might lower your interest rate, but be cautious as it can result in losing borrower protections. Four, make extra payments. Pay more than the minimum. If possible, make extra payments to reduce the principal balance and save on interest. Target higher interest loans. Focus on loans with the highest interest rates first, avalanche method, or the smallest balances, snowball method. Five, stay informed about forgiveness programs. Public service loan forgiveness, PSLF, if you work in a qualifying public service job, you may be eligible for forgiveness after making 120 qualifying payments. Teacher loan forgiveness. Teachers in low-income schools may qualify for forgiveness after a certain period. 6. Communicate with your lender. Stay in touch. If you're struggling to make payments, contact your lender to discuss options like deferment or forbearance. Avoid default. Defaulting can have serious consequences, so keep communication open. 7. Utilize resources, financial counseling. Seek help from a financial advisor or a nonprofit credit counseling service. Online tools. Use budgeting apps and loan calculators too. Stay organized and informed. 8. Consider additional income streams, side hustles. Look for part-time work or freelance opportunities to increase your income. Sell and used items. Declutter and sell items you no longer need to generate extra cash. Nine, stay motivated, set goals. Establish clear, achievable goals for paying off your debt. Celebrate milestones. Acknowledge your progress to stay motivated. 10, educate yourself. Stay informed. Keep up with changes in student loan policies and repayment options. By taking a proactive approach and utilizing available resources, you can effectively manage your student loan debt and work towards financial stability. Prompt, tips for buying a first home answer. Buying your first home is an exciting and significant milestone. Here are some tips to help you navigate the process. One, assess your finances. Review your income, expenses, and credit score. Determine how much you can afford to spend on a home, including down payment and closing costs. Two, set a budget. Establish a realistic budget that aligns with your financial situation. Consider ongoing costs like property taxes, insurance, and maintenance. Three, save for a down payment. Aim for at least 20. Explore options for first-time homebuyer programs that may offer lower down payment requirements. Four, get pre-approved for a mortgage. Shop around for the best mortgage rates and terms. A pre-approval gives you a clear idea of your buying power and makes you a more attractive buyer. Five, research locations. Consider factors like commute, schools, amenities, and future development. Visit neighborhoods at different times to get a feel for the area. Six, make a list of must-haves. Identify your essential features versus nice-to-haves. Be prepared to compromise, but know your deal breakers. Seven. Hire a real estate agent. Work with an experienced agent familiar with the area. They can provide valuable insights, negotiate on your behalf, and guide you through the process. Eight, attend open houses and tours. Visit multiple properties to get a sense of what's available within your budget. Take notes and photos to help compare. Nine, conduct a home inspection. Always have a professional inspection done to uncover potential issues. 
Use the inspection report to negotiate repairs or credits if necessary. 10. Understand closing costs. Budget for additional costs beyond the purchase price such as appraisal fees, attorney fees, and title insurance. 11. Recheck your financial position. Before finalizing, ensure your financial situation hasn't changed, e.g., new debt. 12. Don't rush. Take your time to find the right home that meets your needs and budget. Avoid making emotional decisions. Buying a home is a big commitment, so thorough preparation and research are essential. Good luck. Prompt. How to save for retirement early. Answer. Saving for retirement early is a smart financial strategy that can lead to greater security and freedom later in life. Here are some steps to help you get started. 1. Set clear goals. Determine how much money you'll need for retirement. Consider your desired lifestyle, potential healthcare costs, and how long you expect to be retired. 2. Create a budget. Track your income and expenses. Identify areas where you can cut back and allocate those savings toward retirement. Three. Start an emergency fund. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses. This fund can prevent you from dipping into retirement savings for unexpected expenses. Four, take advantage of employer-sponsored plans. If your employer offers a 401k or similar plan, contribute enough to get any matching contributions. This is essentially free money and can significantly boost your retirement savings. Five, open an individual retirement account. IRA. Consider a traditional IRA or Roth IRA, depending on your tax situation. Contribute regularly to take advantage of compound interest. 6. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers to your retirement accounts each month. This makes saving easier and ensures you prioritize it. 7. Invest wisely. Diversify your investments to balance risk and growth. Consider stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs based on your risk tolerance and time horizon. 8. Increase contributions over time. Increase your contributions as your salary grows or when you pay off debts. Aim to save at least 15. 9. Monitor and adjust your plan. Review your retirement savings plan regularly. Adjust your contributions and investments as needed based on performance and life changes. 10. Educate yourself. Stay informed about personal finance and investment strategies. Consider consulting with a financial advisor for personalized advice. 11. Stay disciplined. Avoid withdrawing from retirement accounts unless absolutely necessary. Stay committed to your savings plan, even when it's tempting to spend. 12. Consider side income. Explore ways to earn extra money, such as freelance work or part-time jobs. Use this additional income to boost your retirement savings. Conclusion starting early gives your money more time to grow through compound interest. Even small contributions can add up significantly over time. So the key is to start as soon as possible and stay consistent. Prompt. Ways to reduce monthly expenses answer. Sure. Here are some ways to reduce monthly expenses. 1. Create a budget. Track your spending to see where your money goes and identify areas to cut back. 2. Reduce utility bills. Turn off lights, unplug electronics, and consider energy-efficient appliances. 3. Cut subscription services, cancel and use subscriptions, or switch to cheaper options. 4. Cook at home. Eating out adds up quickly. Plan meals and cook at home to save on dining costs. 5. Buy in bulk. Purchase non-perishable items in bulk to save money over time. 6. Use public transportation. Consider using public transport or carpooling to save on fuel and maintenance costs. 7. Shop smart. Use coupons, wait for sales, and buy generic brands. 8. Limit credit card use. Avoid high interest debt by using cash or debit for purchases. 9. Refinance loans. Look into refinancing options for better interest rates on mortgages or student loans. 10. Review insurance policies. Shop around for better rates on auto, home, and health insurance. 11. DIY repairs. Learn to do basic home and car maintenance tasks yourself. 12. Cut down on luxuries. Limit spending on non-essentials like coffee or new clothing. 13. Automate savings. Set up automatic transfers to a savings account to ensure you save each month. 14. 
negotiate bills. Call service providers to negotiate better rates on cable, internet, or phone plans. 15. Reduce water usage. Fix leaks and opt for shorter showers to lower water bills. By implementing some of these strategies, you can effectively reduce your monthly expenses and save more money. Prompt. How to improve your credit score answer. Improving your credit score is a great financial goal. Here are some effective strategies. 1. Pay bills on time. Consistently paying bills by their due dates has a positive impact on your credit score. Consider setting up automatic payments or reminders. 2. Reduce credit card balances. Aim to keep your credit card balances low relative to your credit limit, ideally below 30. 3. Avoid opening many new accounts at once. Opening multiple new credit accounts in a short period can negatively impact your score. 4. Keep old accounts open. The length of your credit history affects your score, so keeping older accounts open can be beneficial. 5. Diversify credit types. Having a mix of credit types, e.g., credit cards, installment loans, etc., can have a positive effect if managed well. 6. Check your credit reports. Regularly pull your credit reports from the three major bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, to check for errors and dispute any inaccuracies. 7. Limit hard inquiries. Hard inquiries can lower your score, so only apply for new credit when necessary. 8. Negotiate outstanding debts. Consider contacting creditors to negotiate payment plans or settlements. 9. Become an authorized user. If possible, become an authorized user on a responsible person's credit card account to benefit from their positive credit history. 10. Consider a secured credit card. If you have poor credit, a secured credit card can help you rebuild by requiring a deposit that serves as your credit limit. Remember, improving your credit score takes time and consistent effort. Prompt. Basics of tax deductions and credits answer, sure. Tax deductions and credits are both ways to reduce your tax liability, but they work differently. Tax deductions reduce your taxable income. For example, if you earn $10,000 in deductions, you only pay taxes on $40,000. Common deductions include mortgage interest, student loan interest, and certain business expenses. Tax credits, on the other hand, directly reduce the amount of tax you owe. For instance, if you owe 200 tax credit, you only pay $800. There are various types of credits, such as the earned income tax credit and the child tax credit. In summary, deductions lower your taxable income, while credits lower your tax bill directly. If you have any specific questions or need more details, feel free to ask. Prompt, what is a Roth IRA and how to open one answer? A Roth IRA or individual retirement account is a type of retirement savings account that allows you to contribute after-tax income. This means you pay taxes on the money you put in, but your withdrawals during retirement are tax-free, provided certain conditions are met. It's a great way to save for retirement because your investments can grow tax-free over time. To open a Roth IRA, you can follow these steps. 1. Choose a provider. Look for a financial institution that offers Roth IRAs, such as banks, credit unions, or investment firms. Compare fees, investment options, and services. 2. Check eligibility. Ensure you meet the income requirements. For 2023, single filers must have a modified adjusted gross income, MAGI, of less than $228,000 to contribute the full amount. 3. Complete the application. Fill out the application form provided by your chosen institution. You'll need to provide personal information, including your social security number, employment details, and financial information. 4. Fund your account. Decide how much you want to contribute. For 2023, the contribution limit is $7,500 if you're age 50 or older. You can fund your account through a bank transfer, check, or rollover from another retirement account. 5. Choose investments. Once your account is funded, you can select how to invest your money. Options typically include stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. 6. Monitor your account. Keep an eye on your investments and make adjustments as needed to stay aligned with your retirement goals. Opening a Roth IRA is a smart step toward securing your financial future. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Prompt. Best apps for tracking spending answer. Prompt. How to start a side hustle answer. 
starting a side hustle can be an exciting way to pursue your passions and earn extra income. Here are some steps to help you get started. 1. Identify your skills and interests. Think about what you enjoy doing and what skills you have. This could be anything from graphic design, writing, tutoring, or even crafting. 2. Research the market. Look into what services or products are in demand. Check out competitors and see how you can differentiate yourself. 3. Create a business plan. Outline your goals, target audience, pricing, and marketing strategies. A simple plan can help you stay focused. 4. Set up your online presence. Depending on your hustle, you might need a website or social media profiles to promote your services or products. 5. Start small. Begin with a manageable workload. You can gradually scale up as you gain more experience and confidence. 6. Network. Connect with others in your field. Networking can lead to new opportunities and valuable advice. 7. Manage your time. Balance your side hustle with your main job and personal life. Set aside specific times to work on your hustle. 8. Stay committed. Consistency is key. Keep pushing forward even when things get tough. Remember, the journey of a side hustle can be a learning experience, so enjoy the process. Good luck. Prompt. Steps to pay off credit card debt answer. Prompt. Tips for teaching kids about money answer. Prompt. How to avoid common investment mistakes answer. Prompt. How to create an emergency fund answer. Creating an emergency fund is an important step in financial planning. Here's how you can build one. 1. Set a goal. Aim for three to six months worth of expenses. This can vary based on your personal situation, such as job stability and family needs. 2. Assess your budget. Review your monthly expenses to understand how much you need to save. Include essentials like rent, utilities, groceries, and transportation. 3. Open a separate account. Keep your emergency savings separate from your regular checking or savings account to resist temptation. 4. Start small. Begin with an achievable amount such as 1,000 to build momentum. 5. Automate savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund. This ensures consistent progress. 6. Cut unnecessary expenses. Identify and reduce non-essential spending, directing those savings into your fund. 7. Increase income. Consider side jobs or freelance work to boost your savings rate. 8. Use windfalls wisely. Allocate bonuses, tax refunds, or monetary gifts to your fund. 9. Monitor and adjust. Regularly review your progress and adjust contributions as your income or expenses change. 10. Stay disciplined. Only use the fund for true emergencies like medical expenses or urgent repairs. By following these steps, you can build a solid financial cushion to protect yourself from unexpected expenses. Prompt. Tax-saving tips for freelancers answer sure. Here are some tax-saving tips for freelancers. 1. Keep detailed records. Maintain accurate records of all your income and expenses. This will help you track deductible expenses and make tax filing easier. 2. Deduct business expenses. You can deduct expenses related to your freelance work, such as office supplies, software, and even a portion of your home if you have a home office. 3. Set aside money for taxes. Since taxes aren't withheld from your income, it's wise to set aside a percentage of your earnings to cover your tax bill. 4. Contribute to retirement accounts. Consider contributing to a retirement account like a SEP IRA or Solo 401k. Contributions can reduce your taxable income. 5. Take advantage of health insurance deductions. If you pay for your own health insurance, you may be able to deduct those premiums from your taxable income. 6. Use accounting software. Invest in accounting software to help you track your income and expenses efficiently, making tax time less stressful. 7. Consult a tax professional. If your finances are complex, it might be beneficial to consult with a tax professional who can provide personalized advice and help you maximize your deductions. Remember, staying organized and informed can make a big difference when it comes to managing your taxes as a freelancer. Prompt. How to avoid lifestyle inflation answer. Avoiding lifestyle inflation involves making deliberate choices to maintain your current standard of living even as your income increases. Here are some tips. 1. Set clear goals. 
Identify your financial priorities, such as saving for retirement, building an emergency fund, or buying a home. Two, create a budget. Stick to a budget that aligns with your goals. Track your expenses to ensure you aren't overspending. Three, automate savings. Set up automatic transfers to savings and investment accounts. Treat savings like a non-negotiable expense. Four, live below your means. Focus on living comfortably within your current income, avoiding unnecessary upgrades or luxuries. Five, avoid lifestyle comparisons. Resist the urge to match other spending habits. Focus on your personal financial goals. Six, mindful spending. Reflect on purchases to ensure they add genuine value to your life. Avoid impulse buys. Seven, increase your savings rate. Whenever you receive a raise, increase your savings rate proportionally rather than increasing your spending. Eight, pay down debt. Use additional income to pay off high interest debts, which can free up more money in the long run. Nine, invest wisely. Consider investing in assets that will grow your wealth over time. 10. Plan for major purchases. Save and plan for big expenses, rather than financing them. By implementing these strategies, you can maintain financial stability and work towards long-term financial success. Prompt. Tips for making smart online purchases answer. Certainly. Here are some tips for making smart online purchases. 1. Research products. Read reviews. Watch videos and compare different brands and models to ensure you're choosing the best option for your needs. Two, check prices. Use price comparison websites or tools to see if you're getting a good deal. Keep an eye out for dynamic pricing changes. Three, use secure websites. Ensure the website URL starts with HTTPS colon slash slash and look for a padlock symbol, indicating a secure connection. Four, read return policies. Understand the return and exchange policies in case you're not satisfied with the purchase. Pay attention to time limits and conditions. Five, look for coupons and discounts. Before finalizing a purchase, search for coupon codes or promotional offers that can save you money. Six, beware of scams. Be cautious of deals that seem too good to be true and verify the legitimacy of unfamiliar sellers. Seven, check seller ratings. If buying from a marketplace, review the seller's ratings and feedback to ensure reliability. Eight, consider payment methods. Use secure payment methods like credit cards, which often provide better fraud protection. Avoid using direct bank transfers. Nine, sign up for alerts. Many websites offer notifications for sales or restocks. This can help you purchase popular items before they sell out. 10, join loyalty programs. Some sites offer additional discounts or rewards through their loyalty programs, which can be beneficial if you shop there frequently. 11. Set a budget. Know how much you're willing to spend and resist impulse buys by sticking to your budget. 12. Factor in shipping costs. Consider shipping fees and delivery times before purchasing, as they can significantly affect the total cost. By following these tips, you can make more informed and secure online purchasing decisions. Prompt. The basics of stock market investing answer. Sure, stock market investing can seem a bit daunting at first, but it's really about understanding a few key concepts. Here are the basics. One, what is the stock market? It's a platform where shares of publicly traded companies are bought and sold. When you buy a stock, you're purchasing a small piece of that company. Two, types of stocks. There are two main types of stocks, common and preferred. Common stocks give you voting rights and dividends. While preferred stocks typically offer fixed dividends and have priority over common stocks in the event of liquidation. Three, how to invest. You can invest in stocks through a brokerage account. There are many online brokers that make it easy to buy and sell stocks. You can also consider mutual funds or ETFs, which pool money from many investors to buy a diversified portfolio of stocks. Four, research and analysis. Before investing, it's important to research the companies you're interested in. Look at their financial health, market position, and growth potential. Fundamental analysis, looking at financial statements, and technical analysis, studying price movements, are common methods. Five, risk and diversification. Investing in stocks comes with risks, including market volatility. Diversifying your portfolio, investing in a variety of stocks across different sectors, can help manage risk. Six, long-term versus short-term. 
Decide whether you want to invest for the long term, buy and hold, or short term, buy and sell quickly. Long term investing often yields better returns due to the power of compounding. 7. Stay informed. Keep up with market trends, economic news, and changes in the companies you invest in. This will help you make informed decisions. Remember, investing in the stock market involves risks, and it's important to invest only what you can afford to lose. Happy investing. If you have more questions, feel free to ask. Prompt. How to cut down on entertainment expenses. Answer. Prompt. Steps to refinance a mortgage answer. Prompt. How to track net worth accurately answer. Tracking your net worth accurately involves a systematic approach to recording, evaluating, and updating your financial information. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you. 1. Gather financial statements. Collect bank statements, investment account statements, retirement accounts, and any other financial documents. 2. List your assets. Include all assets such as cash, savings, checking accounts, investments, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, retirement accounts, 401k, IRA, real estate, vehicles, and personal property. 3. Record asset values. Note the current market value for each asset. Use online tools or professional appraisals if needed. 4. List your liabilities. Include mortgages, car loans, student loans, credit card debt, and any other obligations. 5. Record liability balances. Note the current balances for each liability. Ensure they are up to date. 6. Calculate net worth. Use the formula. Net worth equals total assets, total liabilities. 7. Use software or apps. Consider using financial software or apps like Mint, Personal Capital, or Inab to help with accuracy and ease of tracking. 8. Regular updates. Review and update your net worth calculation regularly, such as monthly or quarterly, to account for changes in asset values and liabilities. 9. Review and adjust. Analyze trends in your net worth to identify areas for improvement or necessary adjustments in spending, saving, or investing. 10. Set financial goals. Use your net worth information to set realistic financial goals and create a plan to achieve them. 11. Stay organized. Keep all your financial records in one place and maintain an organized system for easy updates. 12. Consult professionals. If needed, consult a financial advisor for guidance and to ensure all aspects of your financial situation are included. Tracking your net worth accurately helps you understand your financial position and make informed decisions for your financial future. Prompt. Understanding compound interest answer. Compound interest is the process of earning interest on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous periods. It's essentially interest on interest, which can lead to exponential growth over time. Key concepts. 1. Principal. The initial amount of money invested or borrowed. 2. Interest rate. The percentage at which the interest is calculated. 3. Compounding frequency. How often the interest is applied to the principal. Common frequencies include annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, or daily. 4. Time. The duration for which the money is invested or borrowed. Formula. The formula for compound interest is equals the future value of the investment slash loan, including interest, equals the principal investment amount, equals annual interest rate decimal, equals number of times interest is compounded per year, equals number of years example. Suppose you invest $1,000 at an annual interest rate of 5. After three years, the investment would grow to $1,157.63. Benefits 1. Exponential growth. Over time, compound interest can significantly increase your investment. 2. More frequent compounding. The more frequent the compounding, the greater the amount of compound interest. Considerations. Higher rates and more frequent compounding result in more interest accumulated. Longer time periods can greatly enhance the effect of compound interest. Understanding compound interest is essential for making informed decisions about savings, investments, and loans. Prompt. Best money habits for financial success answer. Developing good money habits is crucial for achieving financial success. Here are some of the best habits to consider. 1. Create a budget. Track your income and expenses to understand where your money goes. Use budgeting tools or apps to help you stick to your plan. 2. Save regularly. 
Pay yourself first by setting aside a portion of your income for savings before spending on anything else. Aim for at least 23. Build an emergency fund. Save three to six months worth of living expenses in a separate account to cover unexpected expenses without going into debt. Four, live below your means. Avoid lifestyle inflation by keeping your expenses lower than your income. This allows for more savings and investments. Five, avoid impulse purchases. Implement a waiting period, e.g. 24 hours, for non-essential purchases to help curb impulse spending. Six, use credit wisely. Only use credit cards for purchases you can afford to pay off each month to avoid interest charges and debt accumulation. Seven, invest for the future. Start investing early, even if it's a small amount. Take advantage of employer-sponsored retirement plans and consider opening an IRA. Eight, educate yourself. Continuously learn about personal finance, investing, and money management through books, podcasts, and online courses. Nine, review financial goals regularly. Set short-term and long-term financial goals and review them periodically to track progress and make adjustments as needed. 10. Automate finances. Set up automatic transfers to savings and investment accounts and automate bill payments to avoid late fees. 11. Limit debt. Be mindful of taking on debt. Prioritize paying off high-interest debt first and avoid unnecessary loans. 12. Shop smart. Compare prices, use coupons, and look for sales to make the most of your money when shopping. 13. Plan for retirement. Start contributing to retirement accounts as early as possible to take advantage of compound interest. 14. Network and seek advice. Surround yourself with financially savvy individuals and seek advice from financial planners when needed. 15. Stay disciplined. Stick to your financial plan and avoid getting sidetracked by trends or peer pressure. By incorporating these habits into your daily routine, you can build a strong foundation for financial success and security. Prompt. Ways to avoid impulse spending answer sure. Here are some friendly tips to help you avoid impulse spending. 1. Create a budget. Set a monthly budget for your expenses and stick to it. This helps you keep track of your spending. 2. Make a shopping list. Before you go shopping, write down what you need. This can help you stay focused and avoid unnecessary purchases. Three, wait before you buy. If you feel the urge to buy something on a whim, wait 24 hours. This can help you determine if it's a want or a need. Four, unsubscribe from marketing emails. Reduce temptation by unsubscribing from promotional emails and newsletters that encourage spending. Five, use cash instead of cards. Paying with cash can make you more aware of your spending and help you stick to your budget. Six. Limit exposure to sales. Avoid browsing online sales or visiting stores unless you have a specific purpose. Seven, reflect on your purchases. After making a purchase, take a moment to reflect on whether it was necessary. This can help you make better decisions in the future. Eight, find alternatives. If you're tempted to spend, consider finding free or low cost activities instead, like going for a walk or visiting a local park. Remember, it's all about making mindful choices and being aware of your spending habits. You've got this. Prompt. How to handle unexpected expenses answer. It seems like you're facing some financial concerns. Let's explore them together. What are your specific unexpected expenses that are causing you stress? How do you typically manage these situations? Prompt. Tips for managing income from freelancing. Answer. Managing income from freelancing can be a bit challenging due to the variable nature of freelance work. Here are some tips to help you effectively manage your income. 1. Create a budget. Track your income and expenses to understand where your money is going. Create a budget that includes fixed expenses like rent, utilities, and variable expenses like groceries, entertainment. 2. Set aside for taxes. Freelancers are responsible for their own taxes. Set aside a percentage of your income usually around 25 to 33. Build an emergency fund. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses. This fund can help you manage periods of low income or unexpected expenses. Four, diversify your income streams. Consider taking on different types of projects or clients to reduce the risk of relying on a single source of income. This can also help you stabilize your earnings over time. Five, Invoice promptly and follow up. 
send invoices as soon as you complete a project, and follow up on unpaid invoices. Use invoicing software to streamline the process and keep track of payments. 6. Set clear payment terms. Establish clear payment terms with your clients up front. This includes payment methods, due dates, and late fees if applicable. 7. Track your income regularly. Use accounting software or spreadsheets to monitor your income. This will help you see trends over time and adjust your budget accordingly. 8. Plan for a regular income. Since freelance income can fluctuate, plan your budget based on your average monthly income rather than your highest month. This will help you avoid overspending during high-income months. 9. Invest in professional development. Allocate a portion of your income to improving your skills or expanding your services. This can lead to higher-paying opportunities in the future. 10. Consider health insurance and retirement savings. As a freelancer, you need to plan for your own health insurance and retirement. Research options for health insurance and set up a retirement account, such as a solo 401k or an IRA. 11. Use separate accounts. Consider having a separate bank account for your freelance income. This can help you keep track of your earnings and expenses more effectively. 12. Review and adjust regularly. Regularly review your financial situation and adjust your budget and strategies as needed. This will help you stay on track with your financial goals. By implementing these strategies, you can better manage your freelance income and create a more stable financial future.